Well, we're on the Howardson Group stand now with uh, all the brands that you've got here now, uh, Roger. Yep. And I'm joined by Roger Moore. So can you tell me a little bit about what's going on with this rebranding and uh, yeah. the Howardson Group of companies or brands? Yeah, absolutely. Well, obviously, this was promoted in November a uh, years ago, uh, 2022 as it was. We acquired uh, Lloyds and, and Hunter Grinders. Yep. So they came in alongside the Dennis brands, the Sarsis brands, and the Simpro by Sarsis, which is our synthetic uh, brand. So they all now fall under the umbrella of the Howardson Group. So we are now starting to promote the Howardson Group uh, and each individual brand within those. So there'll be specific times when we promoting individual brands on their own. Uh, but at a show like this, it's very important that we show the strength of the group. Yeah. And so all five brands are here to be promoted. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very early days, obviously, since uh, the Lloyds and the Hunter takeover. So yeah, things are progressing nicely. The Howerton name uh, was slowly changing over a lot of the corporate wear more towards the Howerton group okay. as well. Uh, and just really trying to make sure we get that familiarised out in the market as well now, as, as well as the 100 years of Dennis. I was just going to say, you're not you going to throw those, those brands no, away, no, are you? No, we've got 100 years of Dennis uh, behind us, we've got 140 years of Lloyd, I think it is, 92 years of, of Sisis as well, you know, so we can't afford to mess around with the history of those individual brands. Uh, and we reflect that, uh, you know, as, as an organisation, as a management group, we understand that, you know, people know it the most by Dennis, people know the Scarifiers by Sizes, the Grinders by Hunters and the Paladins and Lloyds, you know, so they will always be there. Uh, but we just want to show the strength of what we are now, which is which is a, now a good group of British manufactured products. And that's always been important to, to Ian and, and the company and, and, yeah, and now the group. Yeah, yeah it's very important. Uh, you know, we have, we have the engineering side of the business as well and, you know, we are proudly uh, British manufacturers. Uh, you know, our footprint around, we try and give as much that we don't do in-house, locally as well. Uh, so, yeah, very, very fiercely, proudly British uh, manufacturing. So, the last few years have been quite momentous for Howardson Group now, yeah. or as we knew yeah. it, Dennis. I mean, yeah. you've, over the last few years you've acquired Sizes, Lloyds, yeah. Hunter Grinders, etc. Um, there's another change coming up in, in the next few months, I guess, yeah. now, um, yeah. with uh, a new MD. Yeah. But hardly a new person to the, yeah. to the group, no, yeah. No, in uh, January 2025, Megan uh, will take the role of Managing Director, uh, and Ian will step back a little bit. Uh, so yes, it's uh, it's a big year for us. We you know we're gearing up. Um, we have been gearing up for the last couple of years uh, with that. To be fair, Megan's been in the business five or six years now, so she's got a real good grounding. Uh, she's got a strong team around her. Uh, Ian's always there, you know, with the wise words, uh, you know, to add in when he's going to be required. So you know, we'll always have Ian's knowledge to fall back on if we need it. Uh, Megan, Megan is uh, she's what. 11 months away uh, yeah. and thoroughly looking forward to it uh, and I'd say we are you know we're right behind her and uh, you know we're going to give her all the support that we can that we can give her as a, as a team uh, to make sure it's a very successful transition. Roger always great to see you good to Fantastic. see you back at the show thank you very much Martin we'll catch up soon again I hope. Fantastic thank you